So where does halftone paper show up? Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci's chiaroscuro is the part where he makes the dark side gradually disappear into the paper or basically into the drawing. So that dark side, if I have a drawing here and here's my figure and the dark side of the face is going from lighter to darker, he's letting the paper it disappear into the paper and it just disappears. And that creates his soft edge called Sumato and the chiaroscuro where it just disappears into the shadow. So Leonardo is the first one to start toning his papers to draw with. Now the French, you know, for 200 years, they've been using toned papers. Hey, this is Chris at Art Secret Studio. We're in Plaza Art. I'm going over some of the charcoal papers, in, in particular, the half tone papers. And those are colors that are, or papers that are different colors. Right now, one of my favorites is definitely without a doubt, uh, a company um, by the name of Canson, C-A-N-S-O-N. -S and I love their Mi Tientes, M-I-T-E-I-N-T-E-S. This particular paper is called felt gray. It's a 90 pound paper. It's not 100% cotton, so be careful with that. If you're doing something for a museum, they're gonna want that paper to be 100% cotton. But the rest of us seem to have a lot of success using this. There are two sides to the paper, and here's one of the problems. So let me go ahead and take the white and show you what the deal is first when you start to see the issue. When you go over with the white, you see this honeycomb pattern show up. And then with the charcoal, I should see it as well. So you see that honeycomb pattern. And it is possible to fill it in with your hand and go back into it. But I'm not a big fan because it keeps wanting to come back and you're fighting this honeycomb pattern. So why does this pastel slash charcoal paper have the honeycomb pattern? For the artists who are not sure what they're doing, for the artists who are trying to figure this out as you're going, you're going to be layering and layering and layering and more and more charcoal or more and more pastels going to be put over the paper and you're going to be filling in the fibers and then it'll allow you to keep going. So I love the other side, the smooth side, and it's typically the side with the label on it. The reason I like it is when I go over it, there's no honeycomb pattern. So I can get a smoother look and all of my charcoals are on this paper. So it's a, a fantastic product for me, it's the smooth side. So let's go over and let's talk about this. Um, when I'm using this and I decide, you know, here's my figure and I'm putting it in. And one of the drawing rules from the past was the dark on one side would become the light on the next side. So if I went from white to, so I went from really light closer to me to gradually touching not as white and not as white. I'm touching lighter and lighter for it to become darker, leaving less and less white behind. The darkest value on this side of the face, if this is my box, the darkest value here is my lightest value here. And then all of a sudden I get to, oh, actually it actually would be here. I'm sorry, so let me start over. The starting light going darker. So as I'm going darker and it's not as white farther away, that value is your starting value here. And then gradually you become the cray of the paper. So the dark part on this side becomes the gray of the paper. Then the gray of the paper would be here. And then you'd start to use your charcoal and it would gradually get darker and darker farther away. So it was a very simple drawing rule. The dark on one side would be the light on the next side. So what happens with the dark papers though, is when I have a dark paper like this and I put white against the dark, it has a tremendous amount of contrast. So if someone's eye is there or that's their forehead or something. Um, the greater the difference of the value, the more contrast it is. So you're trying to leave as much paper behind as you possibly can. Well, when I have these two papers and I have a sunny side to an object, now I'm gonna draw my object like this. And I'm starting with my white. The dark on the white side 
So I have to gradually become the paper value. So there, I went from white to paper. Now I can never let the white charcoal touch the dark charcoal. So my dark side's over here and it's gonna get lighter closer to me. And I'm not gonna let the white touch the dark. I must leave paper between the white and the dark. If I don't, I get a blue color that doesn't go with the drawing. So it's very important that you learn to leave the paper between the dark and the charcoal. Now, does that mean when no one's looking, do I ever put a little highlight right against the white? But yes, but don't touch the charcoal, leave it. That's a huge thing. So now the, there is a softness to this. When your paper's dark like this, so this is the felt gray by Canson. And when I put the white in and I have my same box, as I go darker farther away, I'm gonna have a lot of white still in the darker farther away part. So therefore then that would become my medium color and then it would become the paper back here. And then the paper here, I'm trying to cover up my earlier mistake. The paper here would go here and then my dark is here. So let me clarify this mess. On the lighter gray paper, the dark on the light side is the light on the dark side and then you go darker, leaving the paper in two places. On the darker paper, the dark on the light side is still white. Then you go to the medium side, that color becomes this and then you go to the paper. So the dark on the medium becomes the light on the dark. So you're gonna to have to be very careful when you do this. And it's an easy paper to use because you're basically, your medium is done. You're putting in your lights, you're putting in your darks, and you're done. You're done because the mediums are, the medium in this section and the medium here are already there. So you're saving some time and it's a lot faster. Now the big issue is which paper you're using, which color paper, and they come in every color. But again, I like the smooth side. 